Clay struggled to ignore the itchy spot under his injury and resisted his temptations to lick it clean. His nose stung from the sharp garlic stench, and the more he was confined to camp, the more he longed for the patrols and stalking in his territory. His own territory shared with cats who cared, and most importantly, his mates and soon-to-be kits. Glaze let out a loud purr as he came to terms with staying in a larger group, much nicer than the old forest den had been. These cats worked together, sacrificed so much, and he had already seen it when one of the new cats, Rose, had jumped on a venomous snake in order to make it safer. Yes, Blaze could see himself and a big, wonderful family right here in this camp. He felt his hair, the hair on his back lift as the medicine cat Slatestone suddenly ran across the clearing towards where the cats had built a new nursery for his mate and future kids. Her eyes were wide, and Blaze felt his blood run cold. Suddenly dizzy, he followed Slatestone into the nursery. Here, bite this. Slatestone gave a thick stick for Pixel to bite down on. Blaze's heart quickened as he caught scent of a sharp metallic odor. Blood. Blaze, get a loud yowl from Pixel, interrupted the medicine cat, and she let go of the stick. Instantly, Blaze felt his legs beginning to work, and once more he ran forward, licking his mate fur furiously. After what seemed like an eternity, the nursery filled with loud, tired purrs from everyone in the den, including the two beautiful kittens suckling at Pixel's belly. Blaze smiled as a little she calico she-cat suddenly lifted her he head to smell Blaze's tail that was holding his mate warm. Blaze nuzzled into Pixel's fur as he let out a loud, tired purr. Yes. This was the place that was meant for them. Hello everyone and welcome back! So we're here with our <laughs> warrior cats and you guys, we have kittens. We have two very 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 adorable little kittens. We're gonna see them better in the daylight. For now, um, we have some... whoops! <laughs> Goodness gracious, we have some lag apparently. But we have uh, a little bit of kitty cats. I'm, I'm gonna try to fix this lag, by the way. I've done a couple things, but it seems like uh, I have more to do. <laughs> so hopefully we can get that working better. But yes, we have... Um, we have Twig here, who is tired beyond belief, but um, he, he'll be fine. And then he actually caught some prey. So let's put some prey in here in the pile. Um, these two we need to throw out because they were actually, they were used for, uh, to make all the nests. So we don't have any more now in the nursery or we don't have any more, uh, nest materials in the clan. So we do have a squirrel and a plasma bug. It seems like everyone's just kind of hungry. I'm not going to roll for, um for Trig in this case, because, well, he was, um, unfortunately just... Oh, it looks like Slatestone is coming out to eat a little bit. Unfortunately, he was just a victim of, um, the role-playing, the cutscenes. Uh, we do have Rose here, who's also pretty hungry. Honestly, I feel like, Rose, maybe you should come and eat something and then... Oh, no, you can't go hunting, can you? Oh, no, you can't. You just have some fatigue. Okay, so you're gonna stock for prey. Um, but I'm sure you guys are all excited for the kittens. We're just waiting for it to actually become a little bit brighter out here. Uh, Snake Speckle is also super hungry. We're gonna have him hunt privately over here, I think. Just stocks for some prey. Uh, there we go. So... Oh, and Rose actually gained the hunter trait. So that's interesting. I guess she might be getting a bit more comfortable in the clan. She does um, have a fear of commitment. 
And she's a little bit fuzzy. So I'm not sure she will stay in the clan. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. But as you guys heard, uh, Blaze has actually decided that he will become uh, part of this group and potentially clan uh, in the future. He cannot hunt, unfortunately, which is kind of annoying because, well, he's super hungry. <laughs> But uh, let's let's take a short little look at the kittens at least. It is so <laughs> foliage covered. Yeah, we, we can't see anything, unfortunately. But yes, we have a little calico she-cat kitten here who is proud and noisy, which is just absolutely adorable. She actually takes the noisy from her mother. Uh, neither of them are proud, so she just got a little bit of an extra trait right there. Uh, the random generators gave her the curious and dull personality, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> her fear and goals will be determined either based on what happens in her life, in her kithood, or just by random generators when they grow into um, adult cats. And here we have a very, very ginger, also a little she-cat kitten. She is absolutely adorable. Uh, again. She got a trait, that trait hyper from her mom, but actually nothing from her dad. Which is so interesting to me. Um, it looks like they both have... Oh, do you have two colored eyes? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's too dark right now. Uh, I'm not putting a light in here because, well, it's the nursery. It's supposed to be a little bit cozy and dark. But let's see this little kitten. So she got the po positive trait trustworthy. Uh, so you can definitely trust her with your secrets. <laughs> but her negative trait is actually that she's very, very serious. She she can't really um, not be serious, so to say. <laughs> okay, so we actually... She actually knows Henry as a stranger. That's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, she has some... Um, she's very, very serious. A very, very serious kitten, which you can kind of see on her little face here. <laughs> And uh, here is kitten number one for a little bit of a better perspective. They don't have names yet. Uh, I'm a little bit deciding whether to pull up a post or not, because these are born all the way back in December. And for you guys, it is January, if not later in the year. <laughs> so I'm a little bit unsure if I should put up uh, a post or not. It looks like... Um, Thistle, unfortunately, has gotten some fleas. <laughs> so has Dodon. We're gonna see a lot of random generators if kitty cats don't get up. I think, uh, honestly, she might just eat her own squirrel. Uh, there are fleas in the clan now. Okay, let's look at her traits a little bit. She's caring and reserved, right? So she wouldn't eat... Uh, she wouldn't know about the plasma bug being extremely rare, I don't think. So I think she would just eat it. Um, and with that, she would just get a boost of energy. Because this is a very, very extraordinarily <laughs> unusual bug uh, that we use um, to help get the blood flowing. And Twig actually wants to say hello to uh, kitten number one. And give a gift to Slatestone, potentially because she sort of um, took care of the kittens, I'm assuming. Um, this is a spider, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so actually, um, Pixel, she is okay, but um, she did actually roll to be weakened. Uh, there is a 20% chance for her to um become weak oh my gosh oh my gosh like father like daughter that was adorable uh, we're gonna look at kitten two in uh in a couple seconds here um but yes she did actually roll an 80 at first which is i mean one to 80 is that she is completely healthy and safe she's uh, an adult cat she is uh, in the middle of summer there's nothing that can really injure her in that way well it's a very low chance anyways um but we also roll for the amount of kittens they have and she had two 
So her second roll was actually, I am not even joking, but it is, was 81. Yeah, she rolled 80, just, uh, was just fine by the bare little fur on her neck. And then she rolled an 81. So, uh, it wasn't that bad. But she did get uh, some trouble some sleeping. So she's, she has a little bit of trouble sleeping. Her sleep will be on 75%. Um, and I cannot initiate her to sleep. So she might get more sick depending on that. Uh, so that's a little bit interesting. Um, although it is a new day. So let's fatigue here uh, on just a 1 for Rose. She's actually getting a lot better now. Um, and Blaze as well. We're gonna set his injury down to one. And he no longer has the garlic functioning. So we have a 15% chance that his injury gets infected. And it won't heal while infected. So that would be quite the problem. Also, Blaze, you need to care take care of yourself. Oh, he's been... Oh... Oh, well, that's interesting. I, I don't think Blaze actually has any desire at all to cheat on his mate. But that was quite interesting. He's standing out here outside the nursery where his mate has just given birth. Uh, kind of hidden between all these rocks and just nuzzling Rose. Um, potentially, they both want to be best friends with each other now. Potentially... He might have just been conv convincing her to, like, stay. Because uh, she seems to have quite the, um... Doesn't really know... Oh, you're goofing around with who? With Doton. <laughs> okay, no, you two can goof around. I had no clue. Oh, a little kitten. Oh, wait, okay. Actually, I just realized uh, the little kitty cats here. They are on 15 days, but I actually want them on 12 days. So they're going to take one uh, season to grow up. So there we go. They have 11 days left now. Uh, but yeah, that was quite interesting, Blaze. Uh, you do have... You are in the yellow, but that is, again, mostly because of my little clippings here. So if you go down even more, I will roll for you. But for now... Just take care of yourself, sir. <laughs> uh, let's speed it up a little bit, actually, because I really want to see the kittens. Oh, and here we can actually... Ah, oh, this is a really good picture. So here is little kitten number one. Uh, she's absolutely adorable. She has very... Uh, she's orange on her belly, which is very interesting. And all her little paws. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> what a stretch. Um... Oh, she's very serious and determined. <laughs> she has the cutest little stocky tail. Absolutely adorable. I love her. Uh, and she's off to sniff her mother, it looks like. Who was actually guarding um, guarding the warriors then. That's quite interesting. I wonder if she's uh, kind of protective now over her kittens and such. Um. Okay, but... Oh, this, they've removed some vehicles and such. Let's see if we can take a look at kitten number two, who's just out doing whatever a little kitten like they would do. Um, I don't know if you should be out here. I mean, there's like raccoons and stuff out here. No one's keeping an eye on you. You should probably run back inside. <laughs> In fact, let's uh, let's have her run back inside. I am so sorry for the lag, by the way. See, there's a a monster and everything out here. Uh, let's have her play with this. Blaze, I wish I could have you go hunting, but I can't. Uh, snake speckle. You've caught some prey. Let's just put that there. Despite it being a uh, spider as well, we don't really have the luxury of keeping those items right now. Uh, Dodon... You're grooming yourself. That's nice. You actually want to... Okay, let's... um. Well, let's look at the little kitten first. Shall we? So here's little kitten number two. And she is also absolutely adorable. She actually has a white striped tail. Which is so cute. 
and a little black spot on her her flank and she's actually just completely orange so definitely takes after her father here i am so excited you guys to see how all these kittens grow up and how they're gonna become part of the clan and um just really oh it's gonna be so fun <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun uh blaze seems to be eating a um a spider here okay at this point i can probably start randomizing uh generators again but everyone's so hungry like really really hungry <laughs> except for the little kittens thankfully um Snake speckle, you're chasing a honeypot ant. Hopefully you catch that. Uh, that would be amazing. Um, yeah. I don't... <clears throat> Honestly, I might just... Hello? Why is there a gecko? Oh, because... Because <laughs> Thistle was trying to chase a gecko. Okay, well, Snake speckle did catch the honeypot ant. Um, I wonder if he would put it in the prey pile. He probably would, wouldn't he? Before then eating it. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, Slatestone actually wants to talk to Twig. Well, we do have Dodon here who wants to talk to Slatestone, actually. Wherever she went now. Oh, she's over there. Uh, not groom, that's not what I meant. I meant nuzzle. Uh, let's have these fleas be gone. Okay, actually, Pixel decided to eat the little honeypot ant. That is adorable. Uh, and she actually wants to play with Thistle. So that's pretty fun. I don't know if... Um, I mean, actually, actually, I don't think I can do that. The reason I don't think I can do that is because Thistle is a Tom and she is scared of the opposite sex. I, I've kind of been thinking how to sort of put that into gameplay. I think um, I just can't have her interact with males uh, personally. I mean, I can have her interact with her mate, obviously, but any any male that isn't her friend... I feel like it's just kind of gonna be there. I'm not gonna force anything between them. Okay, uh, Snake Speckle, you're gonna eat that and then you're gonna go sleep in your nest over here. Twig, you need to... Um, to, to get some food, actually. I think we're gonna have Dodon um, have a patrol here. With Thistle for one, Twig for another, and then I wonder if that's enough. Uh, Blaze would love to, but unfortunately he can't. He's actually hunting right now, but he can't go on a patrol. Um, Snake Speckle would probably also love to, but he can't really either. So I guess it's just the uh, three lowest... Actually, Rose might go. Yeah, let's have Rose actually come over. And uh, let's have these warriors, just all of them go over here. And they are going to... Hold on, I gotta actually find all the cats. <laughs> and they will actually see if they can get to a new territory today. Well, there's all except for Dodon. Dodon, you're kind of leading this patrol, so, you know, it would be a bit weird if you weren't here. Um, I mean, yeah, Thistle is already itching to get out and hunt. Uh, Dodon, okay, so let's see... I think Dodon has been in both of these areas, so we're just gonna kind of hunt between them, I think. Slightly new area, slightly not. Uh, I think it's a good balance. 
So let's have them all go over there. And hopefully not get hit by any monsters on the way. Uh, they seem to be fine. Thank for Hello? Blaze, did I tell you to go here? Oh, no, I told you to meet up. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I mean, that was a complete mistake. But I'll take this as him really being passionate here. Um, I know his injury and everything is telling me that he can't hunt anything. But, I mean, this is, this is some passion. <laughs> this is some... Um, some passion for sure. He definitely wants to protect his kittens, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna have a couple cats hunt over here. Sort of the newer ones, I would say. And then we're gonna also make them go home automatically. Uh, Thistle, I guess you can kind of come with them over here. To stock for prey. Um, Dodon, you have level 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you also want to go home. And Twig, you have level 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. There we go. Sorry for all the um, <laughs> repetitiveness. It, it They do uh, go on patrols and such. So, Oh, what's happening here? Pixel is actually pouncing Slate Stone. So I guess those two are kind of becoming good friends. Honestly, despite these two being her ones, I think I'm just gonna remove them for now. Because, as I said, they are males. I can't do that anyways. And she actually wants to... Oh, she wants to learn hunting. That's an interesting one. I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, for now she's a queen. I won't really push her too much. Oh my gosh, and the kittens. Look at these little ones. Oh, they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. And Pixel seems to actually want to... Um... Oh, gosh. Okay. Sorry. Um, Pixel seems to want to really prove herself to be part of this clan as well. Uh, as I said, I'm not really sure about Rose. Thistle seems sort of interested. Twig? I mean, he's definitely out there. Definitely out there. But uh, he might just get scared and run, honestly. I'm not sure. His... He wants safety. He wants safety. He's scared of small places, so maybe he doesn't like two-leg nests. And he wants safety. So I could definitely see him be here, but maybe not a forest. You know? Maybe a forest is the wrong, wrong place for him. Uh, but we do have a little injury here, it seems. Or, may well, potential injury. Let's uh, roll the random generators. Two seconds. I'll just pull them up here. Um, and he is... Is he a young adult? No, he's an adult. Uh, in the summer. So he has an 80% chance of being fine. And he is absolutely fine. So, that's good for you, Twiggy. Um, here we're finally getting some prey. Um, I think they've definitely been warned not to eat the assassin beetle. And Dodon would definitely sort of just uh, give this to, uh, to Twig to make him feel a little bit better. Um, well, maybe not Dodon, actually. Maybe Rose would have done that if she had caught anything. Okay, let's uh, let's see if Rose can actually catch this, and then we'll just say that it is uh, her who gave it. Yeah, she did. Okay, she did actually catch it. Okay, so let's have her and uh, Twig spend a little time together, I suppose. And then we'll say that uh, she was actually the one who gave him her prey. Um, so there we go. That's interesting. I would have presented it if uh, that was the case, but for now they're just hanging out. Well, I mean, Rose, if you find someone else, uh, you two aren't too far apart in uh, age either. It's a little bit difficult to say. I think, um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit difficult to actually see. 
I think they're about a year apart in game. Uh, the cats live for about five years, so. But there we go. That's they've actually just started to uh, become a bit closer in that case. Where is Twig? He's not really very close at all, but definitely, definitely possible. Okay, they're gonna socialize for a little bit, and then I think she'll just kind of go home. I'll have to make sure that you know. Twig doesn't get stuck out here. Oh my gosh, I mean, they're all beetles, but good gracious, Blaze. I mean, you, you caught a 50%. That's pretty good for, like, your first hunt. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, so he's definitely determined to uh, keep his kitten safe. That's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. That's That's amazing. Speaking of his kittens, let's go see what they are all about. They're actually hungry. And he's on his way home right now to give them food. Uh, Snake Speckle is just chilling in his little bed right now. And kitten number one is for sure a little proud kitten. <laughs> Licking herself in the darn um, dirt place of all areas. She's for sure absolutely adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys want to see how everything goes with them in the future, be sure to leave... Um... Oh, look at that little sniffing. Be sure to potentially subscribe so you guys can see <laughs> how these kittens grow up and hopefully survive. Uh, that is about my entire goal. Oh, and their mother is sick, so... Uh... <laughs> Until next time, you guys, I will, uh, I will see you then. Bye-bye. Mm,